Potato. It's 8 p.m. on a Saturday. And do you know what that means? It's real white people hours. And with me here today, I have the supplies for what's titled Authentic Potato Salad from Delish.com. Way to go, buddy. It took us three days to make that potato salad. Three days! So far, all the stuff I've tried from Delish.com has been really good, so I'm excited to try this one out. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't really into potato salad, but I like the mustard-based ones because they're good. This recipe calls for Dijon, but I don't have Dijon. It's not like it matters too much. They are fairly similar, so... Yeah, first thing we gotta do is, as usual, cut up our vegetables. And there's another onion again. This recipe calls for three pounds of potatoes. I only got two and a half pounds because I didn't want to get that many potatoes, so it's whatever. I'll just have more sauce for them. So we'll just cut up our vegetables as usual. You already know how it's going down. Hiya! You only thought I was cutting potatoes, but I'm actually. Here to murder the onion again. And with that, all of our toppings are ready to go besides the eggs. I'll get to those in a bit, but I'll go ahead and get out the pot for these. While that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and boil the eggs too. So when we get out my other pan, I can remember where it is. Oh, there we go. And where did I put the eggs? Oh. Of course, I want to add salt to this one too, just so that it helps it cook better. If you've never boiled eggs before, a rule of thumb is, I'm a cheater because I just looked this up, put about an inch of water above them so that it keeps the temperature stable. That's about it. Then you cook them for like 12 minutes. The recipe I looked up said that you I don't know, you bring it to a boil and then you shut it off and let it just sit in hot water for about 12 minutes. So I'm gonna do that and see how they turn out. Also the salt helps the uh, shells to peel better. Once the eggs are done, one of the tips that they gave me was to fill the pot with cold water so that it stops them from cooking further. And also makes them a little easier to peel, so I will see in a second when I take them out. Of course, now we gotta cut the eggs up since those are done. Egg! Ah! Well, that officially makes it ready to mix, so let's go ahead and do just that.
So we now just add in the eggs, the chives, and the potatoes. I'll do the eggs and chives first since those are easier to mix. And last but not least, we add in our holy duo of white people seasonings. Salt and pepper. It would help if I was opening it the correct way. That is it. Now we just mix it up and we are done. Of course, we need to put this in the fridge afterwards. As usual, here's our finished product. Potato. I gotta stand up and eat this time because my table is covered in cookies. Oh no. So yeah. The total cost for this one was $10.85, since I forgot to say that at the beginning. Now I know what you're wondering. JJ, why would you ever willingly eat potato salad? And that is a very valid question. I don't know, please help. So, only got one tip for next time with this one. I think um, for those that like the kind of little bit of mustard flavor that it gives it, I think putting two tablespoons of mustard instead of one would help out with that. Otherwise, everything was good with this one.